Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Garuda Linux on VMA Workstation. Go to garudalinux.org. It is the official website for Garuda Linux. Hit enter. See here, we have the Garuda Linux for KDE, XFCE, Genome, Cinnamon, Qtile, i3, WSM and more. Okay. Click on download or click on this download or click on download. All three are same. So click on download. See. Minimum requirements are 30 GB space and 4 GB RAM. Okay. 64 bit system. Scroll down and see this is the username and password. So we have KDE, KDE, Garda Linux, Genome. So I am going to install Genome. Installation process is same. Click on it. Then we see here we have the different options from SourceForge, Direct, Torrent and other. Okay. Select the Direct. See, down, once we click on, see download has been started. Click on full downloads. See, the so size is 2.2 gigabytes. I am cancelling this one because I have already downloaded. But its name is Garuda Genome Linux Gen 231029. Okay. So, open VMware Workstation. See, I have the Pro, but if you don't have Pro version, you can download the VMware Workstation player and you can follow the same steps. But the process is same. Okay. Open VMware. See. VMware Workstation Player, but I have the Pro, so click on Pro, click on Create any Virtual Machine, select Typical, see, I will show you the same process in VMware Workstation Player also, you have to click on Create a Virtual Machine, then you have to select Install Disk Image File, then browse the downloaded ISO, then remaining options are same, okay, so let me close this one, click on Installer Disk Image File, that is the ISO, click on Browse, Go to where you kept the downloaded file. See here. Then click on next. Type is Linux. Click on next. Then give the Garuda Linux Xeno. Then give the path to store this virtual machine. Create a new folder for this virtual machine. Click on OK. Click on OK. Click on next. Provide the memory. I am giving 50 gigabytes. Click on next. See by default it has selected hardware as. 2 gigabytes. I want to customize it. So click on customize hardware, then provide the new value or use this pointer and move up or down. Okay. So yeah, click on close. Then if you are okay with all these settings, click on finish. After this, also we can set the settings. Right click on it and select the settings or click on edit virtual machine settings. Both are same. Click on power on this virtual machine. Use up and down arrows and select it. Okay. Hit enter. See, we can if we close it, we can use temporarily. But click click on install Garda Linux for permanent. Click on it. Select the language and click on next. Select the language and click on next. Select your region from here on from the this world map also. So I am from India, so that is fine. Then click on next. Select the keyboard format and click on next. Select the first one that is erase disk and click on select this one and click on next. Let's create a user. So I am giving user full name as R2 schools and the username also same. Okay. Then pro and this will be the host name or computer name. So I want to give host name as host one. Then provide the password for this user. So, if you want to use this password for the administrator, you have to check the checkbox. Then click on next. Click on install. This confirmation, click on continue install now. See, installation has been started. See, installation has been completed. Select the checkbox and click on done. So, it will be restarted. So, click on done. Select first option and hit enter. Provide the password. Click on OK. Open new tab. Let us verify whether this is Garuda Linux or not. So, give the command more slash etc os hyphen release. See, we have installed Garuda Linux and it is ID like all. So, we have successfully installed Garuda Linux on VMware Workstation. For more Garuda Linux videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.